Stray Kitten becomes the gray goat of the pen, acting just like the tiny goats that became his family. What has four legs, a tail, and big eyes? A goat? No, a cat. But you can see how quickly these two can be confused. To be fair, there are a lot of animals that fit that description. I'm just pulling your leg. Just as one goat will be pulling on a cat's ear in the story that we're about to dive into today. A kitten wandered onto a little farmstead and got intrigued by the goats. So much so that it decided to join their ranks and embrace the good old goat life. We reached out to their owner, Jan Goswick, and she graciously shared their story. And let's get right into the story, but just before that, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe if you have a minute. So, let's get started. When Jan Goswick went to check up on her goats one sunny afternoon, she noticed a tiny gray ball of fluff and realized that a kitten had found its way into the pen. When checking on her goats one afternoon, Jan noticed that something she hadn't anticipated was in the pen. A tiny gray ball of fluff was on one of the dog hammocks that the goats would usually lie on. Believing it was a stuffed toy, she bent down to pick it up, only for the toy to come to life and rush away. She realized that a kitten had found its way into the pen. Being tiny enough to fit in the palm of her hand, it had no problem running straight through the holes in their fence. Jan ran after the adorable little creature in order to find it but couldn't. Thirty minutes later, the kitten was back and lying right next to the goats. Thus began the adventures of the kitten they would name Gigi the gray goat, and truthfully, he couldn't come at a better time. Jan and her husband decided to become parents to Nigerian dwarf goats, the first two being named Marvin and Peanut, and they fell head over heels for them. Their children had grown up and left to start their own lives, and with their house at the end of a cul-de-sac and with two and a half acres of land, they believed it was the perfect time to use up some of the space. In November 2020, they purchased their first two goats named Peanut and Marvin. We knew we would love the goats, but I truly did not anticipate how much I would love these boys, Jan said. They're smart, fun, and the most loving animals in the world. She formed a bond with Marvin as he had the most amazing personality. He was funny and strong-willed. Sadly, though, Marvin unexpectedly passed away. This made Jan buy two other baby goats to keep Peanut company, but the grief and sadness persisted until the kitten showed up. The loss left Jan absolutely devastated, but she had to make some quick decisions for Peanut's sake. Goats cannot be alone, they must be with at least one other goat, Jan explained. Many people don't understand how fragile goats are, but they're very fragile. I knew the stress of losing Marvy and Peanut being alone may kill him. A stranger from a Facebook group offered to take Peanut in with her own goats until Jan could get him more company. I found two baby brothers that I purchased and brought back home the next day, Jan said. Peanut was obviously struggling with the loss of Marvy and he wasn't acting like his old playful self. I was struggling to bond with the two new babies because I was so worried about Peanut. The entire dynamic had changed without Marvy. I knew I had to give it time, but I was struggling to find the joy that I had previously when I would go to spend time with the goats. And then a week and a half later, the gray kitten appeared. Gigi was always with the goats. He followed them everywhere they went, played with them, teased them, and would sleep with them at night. It wasn't until Gigi showed up that Peanut started acting like his old self again. Peanut played with Gigi and all three of the goats began to play together, with Jan once again enjoying the time they spent together. A bond started to form between them. They asked neighbors whether their cat had run away or if they knew of anyone searching for one, but no one did. I know in my heart he was meant to mend my heart and Peanut's as well, Jan said. However, the kitten avoided the human family members for two whole weeks until another stressful situation made itself present. I noticed when I went to spend time with the boys that Peanut wasn't getting up. After checking him further, I realized he was ill with bloat, Jan said. Bloat is a life-threatening condition in which an animal is unable to rid itself of gases collecting in the abdomen. If not treated properly and in time, it becomes deadly. I decided to stay with him throughout the night and continue to get him up to walk, Jan recalled. We have a covered swing in the goat yard. I brought a pillow to lay down on when I was letting Peanut sleep. After getting Peanut up to walk again, I laid down on the swing and started crying because my boy wasn't getting better. I was afraid I was going to lose him. As I was laying there crying, I felt something hit my leg. Gigi jumped up on the swing and climbed up on my chest. That was the first time he'd ever let us touch him. He laid on my chest until I got up with Peanut and he was waiting for me each time I came back to lay down. By morning, Peanut was able to release the gases and made a full recovery. From that point on, Gigi would come snuggle up to Jan or her husband or run up to accompany them on their way to the goats. 
Gigi would hide behind a tree and when we walked past he would bolt out and race up to the gate and wait for us, Jan said. He would also follow us down to the house each night after putting them in for the night and about halfway to the house he would turn and run back up to the goats and climb into their pen. At the moment they have five Nigerian dwarf goats, or six if you count Gigi. The kitten was tiny when it found the enclosure and the more time the animals spent together, the more the cat believed himself to be part of the pack. Gigi acts just like the goats and we think he believes he's a goat, Chan said. One of Gigi's favorite pastimes was hiding in the grass or behind something and jumping out to attack one of the boys when they walked by. She laughed at the memory. Another story she shared was of Gigi being a sneaky little sneak. The family usually locks their goats up in an enclosure at night for extra safety, but they were unsure of how the kitten was getting in there to sleep with the goats. So Chan set up a trail camera in the shelter one night. The next morning I was reviewing the videos, she said. All of a sudden the camera started to shake and move around and a small paw was caught on film. The camera was mounted near the roof of the shelter, which is when we realized Gigi was climbing a tree next to the shelter after he shut the boys in and then entered the shelter from above where we have openings for airflow. He'd then go cuddle up next to the boys and sleep all night, and just before we'd open the shelter up for the day he would sneak out. However, the kitten's goat days would soon be over as an infection in the eye led to a vet's visit. The doctor concluded that Gigi had a respiratory infection which meant the kitten needed to stay inside. He hated it, but we wanted to get him better, Jan said. We would stare out our back door and look up at the goat pen all day. It seemed the kitten was better, but further complications made the vet conclude that Gigi should not be an outdoor cat at all anymore. Considering the amount of hatred the kitten possessed towards living inside and being away from his friends, the family decided to adopt another cat to keep Gigi company. We named it Pickles and they've become the best of friends, Jan said, assuring that Gigi is just as crazy in the house as he used to be with the boys. Gigi still has contact with the goats. The oldies visit the back door and baby goats, which are too small to be living with the grown-ups, stay with the cats in a pen inside the house. Gigi will remain an indoor cat with his BFF Pickles and hopefully live a very long and happy life. Jan started sharing her boys and Gigi with the rest of the world via TikTok, but never imagined it to grow as much as it has. 105.4 thousand people look forward to their content. Jan said that it's truly been awesome to see the following grow and to get messages about how much people love her pets. They bring me so much joy and happiness, and I love seeing that others find joy in them too. They've recently set up a GoFundMe page, which will help cover some of the medical bills and perhaps will one day fund an outdoor enclosure so that Gigi can once again reunite with the goats that he loves so much.